Right now, we are going to show you the main components of these ecological sensor units. First, we have the breadboard, which we will cover in detail later on. Next, we have the Wemos D1 Mini, with the Wi-Fi chip on the top here and USB connector in the front of the unit. Next, we have the P-Channel MOSFET switch. And this is the DS3231 clock, which, as you can see, requires its own watch battery for our setup. Here we have the ADS1115 16-bit analog to digital converter, which is used in conjunction with the soil moisture probe. Moving on to the sensors, we have the BME280 temperature, humidity, and air pressure sensor. This is the BH1-1750 light sensor, and this is the soil moisture sensor. The batteries for the unit are housed in this battery case. Here we have a case that can hold three standard AA batteries. For a full parts list, please take a look at the links below. Part 3, soldering the pins. Of course, not everything comes ready to assemble, so in this part, we will have to alter some of the sensors. If you have never soldered before, don't worry. I'd advise practicing a few times before the next step. Using your solder, we want to carefully remove two resistors from the clock. The first one removing is the resistor next to the SDA and SCC on the right side of the sensor that has a small label saying 472. To remove, heat up your soldering tool and delicately push from the side of the resistor until it comes loose. Use the same process now with the second resistor that says 201 in the top left corner of the sensor. Next, you're going to have to remove two 472 resistors from the top of the BH1750 light sensor. If you've never dealt with a breadboard, it's okay. Think of the breadboard as an electrical circuit. The positive and negative are power rails, which is where you can easily get power from in your breadboard. The horizontal rows in the middle area are also separately connected from columns A through E and then columns F through I. And then again, we have power rails, um, columns positive and negative, again on the other side. It's important to remember that the two power rails are separate. They are not connected. To start, let's begin at the uppermost corner of the breadboard. You want to cut a wire that connects the negative to A2. As a side note, it doesn't matter where the negative or positive the wires are being placed into. The spots in each row have the same positive or negative charge. Next, cut a similar length wire to attach negative to A11. Moving down the breadboard, next up is connecting positive to A13. Link column negative to A22 and then negative to A29. Moving over to into column B, cut a wire a bit longer to join the following wires. B21 to B28, B19 to F23, B20 to F24.
Now move along to column C. You're going to take a wire even longer than the last wire that you cut and connect C2 to C11. Moving to column D, join D1 to D10. Column E is where the wiring gets a bit tricky. Using a long piece of wire, attach it from E5 to J23, and then another from E6 to J24. Then use a small piece of wire for E10 to E14 and E15 to E18. Continuing down the breadboard, you're going to cut two small pieces of wires for the following. E21 to F21, E22 to F22, and use a slightly longer wire for E30 to F27. Now moving to the other side of the breadboard, use three small pieces of wire to attach J1 to positive, J21 to positive, and F8 to H6. Hang in there guys, only a couple more steps until part two. Next, add the resistors. Two types of resistors are needed, 180K and 100K. The 100K resistor connects 13 to 15 in column D, and the 180K joins columns C1 to H7, and then there's another in J5 to positive. Be very careful to make sure the wires from the resistors are not touching the exposed segments of the connectors. Lastly, grab the P-channel MOSFET 3 pin and place them in the left side of the breadboard from C13 to C15. Next up on our list is to install the Wemos ADS1115 DS3231 clock, BH1750 sensors, and the wires for the BME 280, BH1750, and soil moisture probes, which will be the only sensors located on the outside of the container. In order to install the Wemo sensor, you're going to line up the 5V pin on the Wemos into B1 and the 3V V pin into I1. Next, take the ADS 1115 and attach the ground pin to I21 to I30. The DS3231 clock is placed from D17 to D22. The wires for the BH1750 light sensor attaches from G21 to G24. The wires for the BME 280 attaches to H21 to H24. Lastly, the wires for the soil moisture probe attach to D28 to D30. Finally, the battery pack can be connected to the breadboard by placing the plus and minus wires with the corresponding positive and negative columns on the top of the breadboard. Now that we have everything wired to the breadboard, we can seal the container. Now we're ready to see it in action. 
The EMU unit is not only capable of making it home, but it's also accurate and cost-effective compared to other sensors currently on the market. To learn more about the setup, parts, or see our comparative data results, please look at the attached links in the description below.